in this next uh, video, uh, this video here today, I'm gonna I'm gonna capture uh, some of what goes on over the next three or four days here at HQ as we transform from this chaos to some semblance of structure. Uh, of course, that structure is gonna be ever evolving. I intend to share a lot of that in the building of this this business, the building of the logistical or the logistics aspect of uh, how products are gonna come in and be delivered to you. Uh, and so I'm gonna share lots of that over time. But for now, uh, I'm gonna work on getting all these Mosmatic uh, wand holders out to all the people that ordered them. Some of you guys have ordered them months and months ago. So they're finally here. I'm gonna have to place another order for them because they've already sold most of the 100 that I have uh, have here. So there's a, I know there's a few left. Uh, but uh, over the next couple of days here, you're going to see this place transform uh, from just a lift and some shelves to hopefully the beginnings of uh, what uh, HQ is going, OG HQ is going to look like. Uh, so I'm going to go over here to the to the workstation that I have my temporary workstation I have set up, and we're going to get rolling on uh, on, on the, uh, getting some products out. Uh, and then my parents are on the way over here to start organizing this in preparation for the shelves that are coming tomorrow. Working through all the Mosmatic orders, trying to get, or the Mosmatic wand holder orders, that I made a little goofy side spreadsheet here. And so I've got, we're getting our boxes set up. My dad's cleaning the spiders off the front porch. And then, uh, so we're getting these so categorized. The boxes you need are in the bottom right, Shelly, 18 by 8. eight. Rai Rai's hanging out. One more minute out there, Michelle. Kate's over here eating a snack. So, we're working through it. It's uh, 5.17. How many orders do we do, Dad? At least, you know, 100 or so? Oh, at least 100, yep. <laughs> yeah. So, we're, uh, we're working through it. We're gonna take wands home, uh, so build some wands tonight. Hopefully the guns will be here tomorrow. Uh, and I'm also hoping I overnighted some, some quarter-inch quick disconnects. Man, just trying to make it happen. Uh, we, uh, I've, I've quoted out six or seven different really high-end systems today. Um, man, it's uh, it's been a, been a crazy ride. Uh, so anyway, we're working on this. I've, we've shipped out up 70 Mosmatic wand holders. It's just crazy. So um, anyway, we've got some chaos here. Tomorrow's gonna be a, a more fun day because we get to be able to put everything on the shelves. And then Monday we're gonna have to place large orders for lots of stuff. Uh, working with chemical guys because uh, citrus red. They're trying to, they want me to do something different, which isn't citrus red. Some other, it's not clean slate. Some other new product that's not the same. Uh, so I'm trying to buy 55 gallon drums of it so I can bottle it myself. Uh, so anyway, I just followed up with YouTube comments. Just launched the video of our trip down here. Uh, so anyway, it's been uh, crazy. I guess I'm not going to make it to the gym today. I'm going to have to go in the mornings, otherwise I'm going to get sidetracked. So anyway, I'll uh, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. All right, we're, Dad's here working this. Uh, what is today? Friday morning. Here's our list of Mosmatic guns, wands, foam cannons that we've got 117 to work through just to give you guys some scale for what we're up against. Plus, we probably have another 35 for the future 1122 orders that we'll have to work through, but um, we're, we're getting there. Anyway, we rearranged the boxes here. We're, we're getting a little little leaner. Uh, my mom's packing. We got Rass and Chelsea over here doing foam cannons, pulling out the junk that we don't need, adding in the stainless steel plug that we do need. I've got 13,000 microfiber towels about to show up here in about 10 minutes. That's We're gonna do something awesome. with. Mike uh, is here from uh, from California. He's relocating our, so we, really, we had to relocate our Prevost line because we put it in the wrong spot so we can get our shelving. Our shelving should be here between 12 and three. So all this stuff will be on shelves. Uh, but anyway, working on working on orders. Uh, Mike's going to be working on the hose reels here in a few, so we can uh, get that done one thing at a time. Alrighty, here we go. That's a lot of rags. <laughs> well, Are you all getting everything organized in there? Yep. Well, it looks like they kind of made it, huh? 
Huh? Come out let Matt organize our game. Uh, no. So we're working on mics up there, working on hose reels, I'm packing a complete microfiber. Somebody snuck an order in, wiped this out of towels. Although I got more towels outside, just a couple. We're working on the uh, whatever you want to call this, the twist and seal plug, putting, making some packs with the MTM uh, whatever nozzle 40 degree nozzle and now once we get the uh, hose rolls in then we've got to hoist those uh, four pallets of uh, towels in here at some point all right despite the fact we're sweating I got to capture this so shelving's coming in we're lifting it in one piece at a time assembly line form because I don't have a forklift oh shoot oh shoot getting there halfway through these are the 96 inch long yeah. version soggy, man. he was telling me it's pretty gnarly to get these uh, 96 inch shelves all the way up there well do we need to build it laying yeah, down and then tip it over uh, no you have to get this I think the shelves are too heavy oh, you know why we got that upside down first the bottom one's upside down so I was gonna say it's gotta have the mic so how we gonna get the shelves up there I was like this is not gonna work. ladders Scaffolding. Okay, now flip that one. Okay. That first flip. Up. This one. Right, just good. grab the other one, Matt. This one here. Got to go to the back. All right, it's going up quickly. I'm just, I'm real, I'm just, I can't catch a vision for what this is going to look like in here with these set up. Yep. Going up. All right, so we're only having to disassemble half of what we did to get the shelves in. Man, it looks great. I'm pumped. Maybe... Shoot, we can we can fit a good percentage of what's in this garage in this one darn shelf. We got five more of them. As in usual Mormon fashion, had to do this three times <laughs> to get it right. I miscalculated. We were supposed to have six shelves, not seven shelves. Then we thought it was five shelves for a little while, but now I think we got it. So I, I decided to have the lower shelf have the most room. And then, anyway, 28 inch spacing in between otherwise. All right, here goes the, uh, here goes the 72, which we're gonna put in the center. And Chelsea's working on the screws. Hold them in nice and tight. Lee. Kate, who's here to yeah, visit you? But then. I thought this truck was coming. Who's here? Who came all the way to see you? Uh, we'll pack them. Whatever oh, sitting on the yeah. floor. Oh, yeah. Probably we did. Do you notice both times we've had something up high, we bring Mike in and Matt's <laughs> all down low? What the heck? Oh, yeah. Wow, look how fast that one went. Hey, yo, what are you doing? How many of them are we gonna have? I'm gonna have another long one here. Same thing right here. So there's two right there. There's going to be another one right here. Yeah, another one. And then where does the last one go? Like right here? Yeah, we have, well, this same thing that we're going to have here is going to go right here. Oh, okay, so it'll be like two, like a walkway. Oh, a whole row? Yeah. Kate, what do you think of the shelves? Are you going to climb up there, Kate? No. No? That is amazing. You always have to stand back and take a look at it. It's normal. What's on your mom? Are they what you expected, Matt? Yep. They're nice. You like them? Yep. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Everyone should get to pick <laughs> one thing they want to put on the shelf. 
I'll we're put the mix on, on the shelf. Microphone. Are they here? <laughs> what? I thought you were gonna bring them here. Oh my word. Oh yeah. Maddie, that's towels. Oh okay. Yeah. Where's oh, the yeah. oh this all came in one shipment. Where are the ladies? Oh my word. Really? Okay. What are you doing? Climbing? How, are you stuck? Oh, okay. We got a uh, we got rows of yeah, rows of shelves, I should say. So this is gonna be good. And my mom's up here dialing in the shelves, so we're gonna start putting some of this stuff on there. It's gonna make this place look huge. I know. It's the kids' laundry. Jumpers. The jumpers will just set aside over here. Whew. All right, seven something in the morning. This feels like day 40, uh, but I'm working on getting the shelf set up. I'll let everybody else sleep in so I can come sweat a little bit. Uh, but I gotta get all this stuff onto the shelves. So then we can start to build the second row. <laughs> Cruising through some shelves. There's another 96er. Give you an idea of the cavern of awesome, we're gonna call it. It's gonna be right here. The parents are working on shipping, getting all your wands out. Osmatic didn't show up yesterday, so still waiting for Osmatic guns, but they, they, they should be here Monday. So we're working diligently here. Mike's uh, getting the uh, patch on the walls, fixing my wonky job here on my uh, on my drywall install. We got lots and lots of cardboard moving and out. We're gonna be, uh, I think, I think we'll probably be moving the t-shirts up here shortly. But uh, notice the towels look amazing. Chelsea's working on my uh, on my tape. Getting the tape all dialed in. I know this is a lot of extra work, but I'm gonna continue to maintain this kind of look because this is a dual purpose facility for me. Shipping, packing, but also just doing everything obsessed. So here's the corridor of awesome. We got our, our car pro stuff here. Optimum nano skin stuff. Like a restore up top. Obviously lots of towels. Got my osmatic wand holders. We'll be moving through those, I'm sure. Lots of hoses. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stock as many hoses. Cox hose reels on the bottom. Rupa's pads. Rupa's polishers back there. Uh there's gonna be guns and wands are in the back. I think we're gonna, for now, we're gonna do all kinds, all the boxes, the various shipping boxes along the bottom. I think, and we'll see, I think I'm gonna take all the shirts and put them up there. And then, uh, I don't know, we'll see what, uh, what what we're doing with the rest of this stuff. So, we're making progress. The scaffolding's gone. So the scaffolding's up. I'm not gonna put these hoses somewhere. So, we've made some significant progress. This is uh, Sunday, Sunday. So uh, Ras and uh, Ras and Chelsea left. Uh, Mike left uh, this morning. Uh, so uh, uh, Distin and Mike came here to help. Chris is here. My parents obviously are still here. But we've got uh, we've got some serious progress done. Looks amazing. So there's our our packing T-shirts up top. So we got that all up there. I just ordered a uh, a ladder. It goes up to uh, it's a 12. I think it. I think the top steps at, at 11 feet. So we'll be able to get up there. Um, Chris is here doing inventory for us. Got a few orders need to go out. Uh, Mosmatic stuff should be here tomorrow, hopefully Tuesday at the latest. I just ordered some bins uh, because. I don't like looking at all these boxes, so 
all of our quick disconnect stuff is gonna go in bins. I'll probably order some more. And all of this packing stuff I'd ordered. So I'm gonna have a bin, bin caddy, uh, and then over here will be two, uh, two closed back shelves. So that's where we'll do all of our packing material, like tapes and all that. So that'll free up this area for uh, guns and wands, because I really don't have any guns and wands to put on the shelves. Uh, these bottles will probably go away, so we'll have some room to put boxes. Let me show you down here. So we've got all of our Optimum stuff. Micro Restore. Obviously, I just had mentioned facts have our t-shirts. Here's all of our pads. I'm going to come up with a small, the, uh, the, the micro pad package. I still got some room. We're gonna have a bunch of we have a pallet of hoses coming, uh, inlet hoses because we're short on those. Also have tons of osmotic stuff coming. We're gonna need a lot more foam cannons. All these foam cannons are sold, so there's a hundred of them or so, so they'll all be going out. Cox hose reels, uh, Prevost hoses, Cobra Jet hoses, all the way up. Piping packages wand holders and then the wall of microfiber you got a lot to a lot to do and then you know most of these boxes are going to be going under the packing station which should be here in about a week uh, and then we'll worry about cabinets and what what other shelving i'm going to need i have a lot more product to come out with so uh, i'm probably going to need to take up a lot of this area with shelving but for now, we're uh, we're up and running. Our little temporary station here. So over the next week, we'll be working on that. And Chris is counting some pads for us, getting our inventory dialed in. So hopefully, hopefully we get to the point where you're not buying crap and I don't have it and have to email you apologizing. So anyway, for now, I'm able to retain my my polishing and demo area, and we'll work on list of cabinets later. Uh, Mike uh, got the rest of my hose reels installed, got the Stoflex hoses in place, got the whips done. So I know you, some of you probably think that looks busy, but to me it's, it's a dream. It's a dream come true to have an insane air system. I'm going to be able to polish from all angles. So, so up next really soon will be, uh, I got to get polishing. I want to play with all the pneumatic stuff. A uh, new microfiber package coming out probably this week. I've got uh, stainless steel uh, uh, garden hose connections that I'm going to add to the store. Uh, lots and lots of cool stuff coming. So anyway, uh, thanks for uh, watching the, uh, the sporadic vlog of uh, setting up OGHQ. So, anyway, thanks for watching and uh, as always, stay tuned for more crazy. Oh, thanks to everybody who came and helped. It's incredible. Without, without the people that come in out here, it just wouldn't have happened. So thanks and uh, talk to you all soon. force pulls you back, your foot naturally comes off the gas. You have to keep your foot to the floor, the floor, foot to the floor.